guys <laughs> okay no let me do that again so hi guys karibuni karibuni tena welcome back to my youtube channel our youtube channel today we're going to be doing uh rose no wait uh rose petals yeah i'm finally back after <laughs> but here i am um so let's do this this crochet one night pass by one light star in your eyes they were shining like none of them could be so we're going to be using a three millimeter hook this is my hook and we're also going to need scissors a pair of scissors i just have normal ones and the yarn I had some green yarn but don't mind that that was for the other part so we're going to start and just pull your yarn for a comfortable length to begin with and definitely begin with a slip knot and just make a loop and you pull through the yarn that when you turn you find it in the middle in case it's not clear you can always look up how to make the first slip knot and I have made mine I'm just going to put the hook over and then pull to tighten and you have your starting point I'm going to be chaining 18 for my petals rose petal. but you can make it to your desired length it should just be an even number so just yarn over and pull through that's as easy as it gets for the chain first so I have two more left and when you're concluding you're going to add one more so I was chaining 18 but I'm going to have 19 in total and I'm going to begin my this is my first row and we're going to be doing a half double crochet so you're going to skip the first chain that you had and sorry you're going to go to the next one so you skip the first it's not so clear sorry uh, there we go and you're going to go to the second and you yarn over you go through that chain and then yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three that is how you make the half double crochet and you're going to do it again yarn over go through the top part only don't go through everything and then yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through all three that's your half double crochet we're going to be doing it all the way and i'll see you at the end of the chain so i have two more left i'm going to do it one more time and it is yarn over and then you go through the top bit and yarn over pull through and over pull through all three and so sometimes you can like get stuck or you can miss yarning over it's okay you can even like you know have a difficulty in going through all three but you get through now we are going to change and we're going to chain two because now we're doing double crochet for the next so you're going to chain one and two and then you're going to turn your work Once you turn your work, you can see there's chain two and then there's that first space. So I'm going to go through the first space with my first double crochet, the official one. Of course, that chain two represents the first one, so this is like the second one. So you probably going to do that, and then we're going to yarn over and we're going to chain again in the same space so we have three in case that wasn't clear i'm going to do it again and i'm going to skip one and then go to the next and it's yarn over you go in yarn over you pull through only two and then you pull through the rest two i'm going to make another one still in the same one and then yarn over and over and you're done 
and then one more time so we're doing three in one then you skip one three in one then you skip one three in one skip one all the way till the end so you see you got that shell like um, so yeah that is me at the end and we're not going to do all the way to the end we're going to leave like one after skipping one and we're going to do three double crochets in the next that will be the end of this row we're not going to chain again so yeah yarn over you go through pull the yarn and over two and then yarn through two and for the last number three and you can see that i have left a little thingy i'd like to think it of like the bud of the rose i don't know but yeah we're not going to make it all the way we're going to leave that bit to help us with the rolling also so now we're going to the other one and we're going to chain two again and turn our work so this one is going to be a bit more different still using half double crochets but now we are trying to create that rose like shape so yarn over and you're going to go through that same first uh, stitch and you're going to make that first double crochet and then you're going to yarn over into the next and you're going to make another two double crochets and then after that you're going to make one double crochet on the next so that's yarn over after this you're going to chain one you can see we've made four of them sorry five that's for the first one but we're going to be making four so after making those four we are going to chain one and then you're going to make a single crochet in the next one so that's just going through and then go through the two only and then you chain one again and you're going to your next stitch with a double crochet so this is sort of another shell and you're going to make the first double crochet you can see the shape that's what it looks like that's what we are trying to make and then in the next one you make two the next chain you make two double crochets and in the next you make one so we're making our double crochets it's just yarn over and yarn over again and then you're making your last single crochet in the next one and then you slip stitch then you're going to make your single crochet in the next slip stitch again and you repeat one double crochet on one then two then one and then you chain one and you single crochet chain one and you repeat again so we're going to do that all the way till the very end to make this shell like sort of curved and once you're at the end that's what it looks like you can see it's a little bit curvy I'm going to do it one more time so I've already done my um, done my slip stitch and I've chained one and so I'm doing my first double crochet on only one and then two double crochets on the next one And we're going to complete our rows with a single crochet that's how mine ended i think if you have an odd number you would probably end up with some one or two double crochets at the end and that's 
still fine because you're going to roll it over but if you want something neat and precise you can do that so basically here we're done and to finish off you just do once you go crochet to secure it and you're going to cut the yarn at the end and you'll just pull it completely in that's how you tie the end um if you feel like you can always tie those two but I'm going to leave it I tried tying them together and it didn't look so good to me so I decided not to do it kind of like bam just just a funny kind of thing so I decided not to um now I'm going to show you the last bit of you know making it a rose because it's just uh, just the <laughs> crochet piece that looks uh, undefined but you can see the shape the shells it's pretty that's pretty simple so you're just going to roll it you can choose which side you feel looks better and you want it on the outside and you're simply going to roll it from the end that we left which is like the petal <laughs> for me so you make sure that you roll it and you want to be neat don't make it too tight and make sure that uh, on the bottom side it's in the same level not going upwards or downwards so we're just going to roll it all the way and you can see your rose forming so you can go ahead and make um, a rose itself or you can use this on clothing like to have that detailed rose feel and that's it